So, I have got a big box. I did not expect it to be this big, but it's huge. I'm looking at it right now. It arrived before I got to work. I've just come back from work. I finished work at 10 p.m. Actually, I've not just come back. It's now half past midnight. I've been sitting here like an hour and a half doing nothing. I need to be more productive. If I should be productive or go to sleep, one of the two things. Anyway, um, got a massive package here. Work was very uh, annoying because it was very busy. We had like three times the amount of work to do. I had to help out of departments because there were so many things to do. Everyone was busy and we were short staffed because two didn't turn up and one got sent home. So it's like a lack of people, more work. What's going on here? It was literally like every, literally every person was busy all day. And that's not normal. Even the managers and the supervisors were joining in in the work. And that's not normal either. You know there's something wrong when the managers are also working with you. But yeah, um, th th that's for a different a, a different uh, video. Um, I'm back and uh, I am now sitting here contemplating how to open this box. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a gaming PC, if you hadn't noticed already. That's my current one, which is pretty good. It's pre-built. It's got a 2060 Super and an Intel i7. And yes, that is an Xbox Series S and a PS5. Not showing off, but they do exist. And I do have them right there. So they're not as rare as you might think, but they are. It's, a, it's really weird. It's been a year, almost a year, and they're still hard to get. I don't get it. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> this is a PC. At least I think it is. The box seems a bit big, but it has come from all the way from the US. So maybe that's why it's so big to keep it secure, maybe? I don't know. It also says do not drop. When I woke up and saw this parcel, it was upside down. But what if it was the right way up and the labels were upside down? Mind blown. Seriously, though, how do I open this thing? Look, how do I get, how do I, I guess I get a knife? I, I did ask someone. A guy called Jake, he said, get a knife and just pry it open. These metal things. It was crazy. This is not sponsored, but Power GPU is one of, I guess there's other companies that do it, but they're a company that builds a PC for you. You submit a form and you say what you want. You don't have to be specific. You can just say, I want an Intel i7 and I want a, a 20 series GPU. And they'll, you know, they'll select from a range, they'll pick for you based on what you need. Like, don't just write what you want. Also write, sorry, write, to type in, in the form online. You just, uh, you type in like what you need it for and they will adjust based on what your needs are. So I said I wanted one to record gameplay and also play games in a good frame rate. Doesn't need to be 4K as long as it's the frame rates, as long as I can play good frame rates and not have my PC getting too hot. You know, something like that. I wasn't too fussed about heating, as long as it didn't overheat too much. But, you know, that was part of the, my description. I said I wanted, to, I wanted a 30 series GPU. So anything from a 3060 to 3090, just, I, I just said 30 series. I did specify the CPU though. I said I wanted the AMD Ryzen 9 3900X. I know there's better ones, but that's all I needed. <laughs> it's powerful enough, that one. Um, I also bought a Elgato 4K60 Pro Mark II. I bought one months ago, but I couldn't use it because my current PC, it would not take, it, it did not have enough PCI slots. It had a PCI slot available, but my GPU was in there. It's got a 2060 Super and an Intel i7, so it can run games quite well, you know, at good frame rates. It gets quite loud, it is pre-built. Um, you're probably thinking, I could have built it myself. And I could have, and I've seen tutorials, but even though it looks easy, I am that one person in a million who would mess it up. So I'd rather not. I'd rather pay someone to build it for me. And luckily there was a company available ready to do that for me. So yeah, um, they charge you basically at cost as well. Like they don't make that much profit off it, but they do charge you to build it and delivery fees. So, and, and they're in the US. So the PC itself was about 500 pounds more than my current PC, which is crazy because this one has a 3060 Ti and a Ryzen 9. 500 pound more than one of the 2060 Super and uh, Intel i7. It's a big jump for, big jump in terms of like how powerful it is and a smaller jump for price. 
in a way. At least it seems that way to me anyway, considering how much that CPU and GPU cost. Um, but the thing is, we have delivery fee and building fee and imports free into the UK. It adds up. Uh, so hopefully it's worth it. <laughs> hopefully it's worth it. This is probably the last big thing I buy for a while. I do want to save up money now to uh, travel the world one day. That's the main thing. I also want a house, but <laughs> I live in London, mate. Good luck with that. But <laughs> um, I do want to travel the world one day. So, you know, you need money for that. So I'm going to start saving from now on. I've still got a decent amount in the bank because I've been working through the pandemic since May 2020. So I got some money in the bank. But after this purchase, it's the last thing I'm buying that costs more than a grand. I also asked for a motherboard that had more PCI slots, mainly for this, right? I have an Elgato HD60S Plus that does 4K60 pass-through and records at 1080p60, streams 1080p60. It's good. Sometimes it has errors, loses connection during a stream, which is very frustrating. It's a good thing, but now that I've got a PS5 and the new Xbox is, I want a um, higher pass-through. And uh, this thing, it passes through 1080p, 240, 1440p, 120, and uh, 4K, 60. Pretty damn good. So I can connect my PS5 to my 1080p monitor, play at 120 hertz at 1080p, and I'll be able to play it while streaming because it has the pass-through for it. I can't stream in that quality, but I can at least play in it while streaming 1080p60. I need that sort of thing. I mean, I don't need it. I don't need it, as a certain man Jordan would say, but I want it. I want it. I bought this months ago. My PC wouldn't take it because um, it needed an extra PCI slot. It had a good one. It had one that was big enough, but my GPU was in there, 2060 Super. I couldn't connect this and the GPU. And the GPU speeds up your streaming recording anyway, even if you're not playing a game on it. So, yeah, that's another reason to get my PC. Also, I wanted a second one anyway, you know, one for streaming, one for gaming. I think that's ideal. You know, it takes the stress of having one PC doing everything. It just, you know, wears it down. So I think it's just best that I have two separate ones, one for streaming, one for gaming. Um, it's it's kind of weird because I might use the more powerful one as the streaming one, which kind of makes no sense. But I'll be switching around, actually. I'll be switching around. So, like, if I was to stream my PS5 gaming, I'd use the powerful one. Yeah. Yeah, I'd use the powerful one. But if I was streaming uh, PC gaming, I'd, I'd game on the PC, on the powerful one, and then stream that off the less powerful one. The less powerful one is still powerful, but just not anywhere near that. But I need to actually get it out of the box and turn it on. So that's great. I also need to move the setup around. I've got a uh, 4K60 monitor right here and a 1080p 144. And there is my PC. I want to move the PC down here. The PS5, I guess, where the controllers are. Then the Series S down there. Controllers probably also... Actually, no, wait, the PC's there. The Xbox over there then, <laughs> and the controllers over there, because I can use my Xbox to charge the controllers. Even when it's turned off, it charges the controllers, so that's very useful. I, I put it in like energy saving mode, and it still charges the controllers while turned off. So that's pretty damn crazy. And um, yeah, and then the big PC can go there, and the PS5 can be next to it. That way, I can move the PS5 off, off this table, and move this monitor across. And hopefully, there's another monitor that I did sort of like i ordered it but it's not in stock but i hope it's in stock soon then i can have three monitors two monitors for one pc and one for the other but at the moment it'll be one monitor per pc so i think the 1080p one will be for this pc and this one will be for the powerful one even though it's capped to 60 fps but eventually i'll get a monitor good enough to also see the full capabilities it's got a 3060 ti and a Ryzen 9 for an under decks, so it could be crazy. So it might be my secondary PC now, but it still looks bloody cool, mate. Acer Predator. They make some cool looking PCs, although they're a bit too loud, but you know. It's also, also a bit of a nightmare because my USB ports are on the top and it's quite a tall device. And 
had to reconnect all the wires. It was very long. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a bit of a nightmare, but I got there in the end. I just realized I need a second keyboard <laughs> and another mouse. Uh, I didn't quite plan for that one, but the, the second PC ain't here yet. It's, it's not, I haven't opened the box yet, but we're getting there, right? I'm moving these things around. Right, so uh, I've got every corner, but it needs to bend vertically upwards. Then I can lift the box, but not. I use this knife to get inside so I can like, cause it was way too tight for this knife. So I had to use this knife to like pry it a little bit. Then I use this one to get it there get it sort of there and then I use this to bloody get it up and this is as far as it went so I still can't open the box but I guess I'm closer I don't know what to do now because none of these things are flipping uh, it's ironic because this one's sharper but it bends more the blade bends a lot more than that one uh, that is annoying I haven't got enough tools clearly work felt like a workout and now this feels like a workout I hope I don't get too many neighbor complaints today. But let me do this once, I promise. I used a hammer. I used a hammer to bash it, bash it upwards. And then the back of the hammer to pry it open from here because it still wasn't opening. It still was getting stuck on here. So I had to like pry it open with the hammer. But it's here. There's the box. And it's covered on the sides at least with uh, nice protection. Hopefully, nothing happened to the PC on the way because it did get on a flight. It was literally in the US like two days ago. It got on a UPS flight. It got here. So uh, yeah, <laughs> just like past the parcel. Box inside a box. Inside a box. Are these pillows? What's going on here? I appreciate it though. This is uh, the effort I expect. There's great protection. Thank you for purchasing with some important instructions. Nice to know. They also had one UK plug left in stock and I managed to get the last UK plug left. Imagine I got a US plug, that would have been very awkward. So I never specified what case I wanted but it looks humongous. <laughs> it looks humongous. So also included was this box with well a bunch of packaging. I'm, I'm assuming, I mean they did say keep it for the warranty so I think that's the main thing. There's warranty provided for every component individually only issue is I got to send it back to the US <laughs> if there's a problem. I assume I don't have to connect these, but I have, to f I have found a power supply right here. Their last UK plug in stock. How lucky am I? Now, this tower is pretty big. <laughs> Let's see how it works when I actually use it. Well, I should have filmed it, but when it turned on, it sounded like a damn F1 engine turning on. No, not F1 actually, electric cars. What's, which one is that? F something. You know, electric cars, the, the racing ones. Electric go-karts, we just say that. It sounded like one of those <laughs> starting. And now it's a lot more quiet. Now suddenly this one that's usually loud wants to be quiet now. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. All right. I'm still going to be using you. Okay, right? relax. You're not being replaced. You're being given a friend. Oh, I mean, it turns on, which is great. Um, I've still not got a keyboard or a mouse. It looks funky. The only thing is, am I supposed to remove that bag inside? I, I don't know. Either way, I meant to open this thing anyway to insert the Elgato. So maybe I'll do that now. Oh my word. This one opens so much easier. Like there's these little screws, right? They're screws, but you can just use your fingers to unscrew them. Like you, you, you got to do it quite tightly at first. Like it's, it takes a bit of effort to start get it start moving, but it takes a few seconds. After you get it, get it moving, it just unscrews so quickly and it, and it comes off very nicely. Just be careful though, because it's glass. So you don't want to let go of it. You want to still be holding the panel, but the screws are so easy to take off, a lot easier than getting a screwdriver from a PC. So that's impressive. I assume I got to take this out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's not meant to be in here. It must be a safety thing. It's safe to pull it out, right? <laughs> Doesn't say any instructions about this. Okay, so you can't actually see it right now because even though this is quite a good phone, it's an iPhone 12, you can't see. Literally, the GPU, I'm touching the GPU right now. It's an EVGA, not, not NVIDIA, but it's still NVIDIA, but just EVGA's version of the 3060 Ti. You literally can't see it. What on earth? I can't even use flashlight when I'm recording video. That's annoying. Fix it, Apple. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, 
I've just got to figure out. In, you can't even see. I'm not, I don't know why. I'm, I need to flip and install the Elgato. So it would have been useful for her to have a phone. My Pixel 3 died a couple of days ago, so I can't use the other phone to put a flashlight there and record it. But I took a photo and hopefully it comes out nice with a flash. Um, right, so I looked I look for a screwdriver. It took me ages. It was right there. I need to clean that dust. And then I looked for my phone. I'm just like, where's my phone? It was right here with the flashlight on, lighting up the PC. I, I left this room twice when the things were right in front of me. Uh, that's that's typical me. That's typical me. So uh, the Elgato is finally in. Uh, took me a while to put this one back in. I accidentally unscrewed this one. And then I unscrewed the second one to put this in. Putting this back in, it was annoying. I had to like snap it back in. It was very annoying. But uh, it is now done. Let me just put the uh, glass back on and uh, then this PC can be set up fully. Right, power on. It sounded even quieter the second time of booting. At least you can see it more now. So there we go. This is, uh, there's the plastic still on there. That's why it looks a bit, doesn't look as clean, but I, I want to keep it on. There we go. <laughs> this is open a while because I spent so long looking for things and things things back in. Hopefully not, not too much dust got in, but uh, yeah, it's got cooling inside. Oh, beautiful. The only thing I would upgrade on this is RAM. It's got 32 gig. Sorry, it's got 16 gig. <laughs> I wish it had 32 gig. Uh, <laughs> but that's what, like, if I could, I'd add another 8. Just because, like, like I got it's enough RAM for gaming. But for editing, I feel like more RAM is a bit better. But 16 is enough anyway. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's just a future thing. But, yeah, 30, 60. I got a 30 series GPU, guys. They exist. They exist. You've seen the front, you've seen the side, this is the top, looks very nice, this is like a little panel, yeah, nice. Xbox looking good, with random places and controllers. <laughs> Don't use a knife to do a hammer's job, what on earth, look at this. Now, there's been some big PS5 hype today, I'm watching reactions to the uh, reveals, there's Spider-Man 2, there's Wolverine, there's God of War 2. It's it's absolutely insane. I absolutely love it. Anyway, uh, yeah. Literally set it up straight away. <laughs> straight away, it automatically worked. Less connections, no USB cable required. It's just straight two HDMI cables to the monitor and the console. And voila, it just works. At least. Haven't checked on the pass-through yet. At the moment, it's just, you know, 4K60. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> Not too bad. I'm using the interactive keyboard right now. I don't know this is a thing, but it does exist. My thing is not even getting like... Oh, it says no signal now. What? Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. Well, why does it look like colored different on OBS? That's strange. That's pretty cool. Obviously, this is not my... Um, I would have to switch to, like, get my main screen up. But... Storage... Wait, where'd I go storage? Where would I go? I think it's screen... No, actually, no, it's... Uh, it's this one, isn't it? Performance mode. No, this is... Where do I go for resolution? Yeah, I was literally on it. <laughs> it was literally it's on screen and video. Uh, there we go. All right, let me uh, try this out. 2060, 2160. Uh, it currently says 59, well, 60 FPS essentially. 1080p. Obviously, it's going to say 60 FPS, but what does the console say? <laughs> like, what is the res? What is the Oh, I wish I had Call of Duty still installed because it's 120 hertz. Uh, I, I missed a beat there. I need to test it for 120 hertz game. What's 120 hertz on here? I'm not sure I have a. Oh, why did I delete Call of Duty? Damn it! Why did I delete Call of Duty? Some of these are deleted. This isn't like installed. There we go. Doesn't F1 have no? That's 60, isn't it? 
I don't think anything here is 120. I deleted the one game that would have been a good test for this. I just want to know if 120 works. <laughs> That's all. Uh, obviously, it's not going to say it on there because this is the recording format. Recording is going to max out at 60 FPS. But the point is you can record 60 FPS while also playing at 120 FPS. 120 hertz, sorry. You get the point, right? And I can't test it right now because I haven't got 120 hertz game installed. My bad, my bad, but uh, I'll let you know in a future video if it works. But um, I'm not gonna play any Steam games yet. Obviously the PC's got a massive GPU. I'm gonna install Steam and uh, other stores so I can get my games on there. I have got a uh, an external hard drive with all the games on it, so I can, I can just plug it into that. That could be easier. Uh, that's probably what I'll do actually. But uh, yeah, for now, my gaming PC is set up. I just need a keyboard and mouse and then we'll get up and running. I'll do a future video uh, about, I guess, games and other things. But yeah, for now, it's sitting next to my PS5 very nicely. Got more space. I need a bit of cleaning. I, I, I wiped this whole table. I wiped this table. But the top, as you saw earlier, was very dusty. But yeah, if I can just move this monitor across. When I get a third one in, I'll, I'll, I'll start to move these monitors. But so far, so good. Goodbye.